salt is not just common salt. There exists a family of salts. In fact, salt is not just produced as a result of neutralization reaction between an acid and a base, but it is also produced when a metal reacts with an acid or a metal reacts with a non-metal. So hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn more about the family of salts and what are the different ways by which a salt can be produced. Not only that, we will also discuss about some of the important chemicals that are obtained from common salt. Let's get started. So here we see that salts are formed by chemical reaction between so many different things like a base and an acid which is something that we always knew that a base and acid combines together to form a salt. Besides that a metal and an acid just like magnesium plus H2SO4 forms MgSO4 plus H2 or a metal and a non-metal like calcium and chlorine they combine together to form calcium chloride or a base and an acid anhydride or an acid and a basic anhydride now a lot of you might be wondering ki, what do we mean by anhydride anhydride basically is obtained by elimination of h2o anhydride that means h2o is removed from something so whatever is left out that is anhydride so when you remove H2O from an acid, it becomes acid anhydride. When you remove H2O from a base, it becomes basic anhydride. So if you look at these reactions, you see that with all of these reactions, the end product is a salt. So we see that salts can form if solutions of different salts are mixed. Their ions recombine and the new salt is insoluble and precipitates. So there are like multiple opportunities or multiple ways in which a salt can be formed. Now, since there are so many different types of salts, let's talk about the family of salts. So we have categorized them into different types. First is normal or neutral salts. So they do not contain any replaceable hydrogen ions. So that's why they are neutral. For example, NaCl like common salt and Na2SO4. There are acid salts. So they so whenever the word acid comes, that means they have excess of H plus ions. So they have replaceable hydrogen ions in association with the acidic radicals. For example, NaHCO3, NaH2PO4. So the presence of this hydrogen ion tells us that they are acid salts. Then we have basic salts. So when there is higher proportion of base in the reaction between an acid with the base, then that is necessary for the formation of a normal salt. So basically when you have more hydroxides, for example here you have OH, so that tells you that this is a basic salt. Double salts, they are formed by association of two simple salts. So when two simple salts combine together, they form double salt, for example potassium alum. So if you look at the uh, formula of potassium alum, it is somewhat like this KALSO4 whole 2 dot 12 H2O. So that's potassium alum. We also have something called mixed salt. So they contain more than one acidic or basic radical. For example, bleaching powder. So let's bleaching powder is CaOCl2. So that is a mixed salt. So we are not getting too much detail into each of these salts, but these are just to tell you that even in salts, we have so many different categories. Now uh, we will look at complex salt and complex salts, they dissociate in water to give one simple ion and one complex ion. Again, as I said, not getting too much detail into this, but just for your information that you have so many different categories of salts. So let's talk about the pH of salts. Now we notice that a salt which is made up of a strong acid and a strong base, they are neutral because the strong acid and the strong base, they kind of neutralize each other effects. But if a salt is made up of a strong acid and a weak base, which one will dominate? Obviously the acid because the acid is stronger and therefore the pH of the salt would be acidic. That is, it will be between zero to seven. Now, in a similar way, if the salt is of a strong base and a weak acid, so which is stronger base and therefore overall the salt would be basic in nature. So it, it's very simple. The powerful dominates. So if the acid is stronger, base is weaker. So overall the salt would be acidic. If the base is stronger, acid is weaker. So overall the salt would be basic. Common salt is an important raw material 
for many materials of daily use such as washing soda, baking soda, bleaching powder and many more. So we see that there are so many useful products which are obtained from sodium chloride. The first one being sodium hydroxide. So how do we produce sodium hydroxide from sodium chloride by the process of electrolysis. So when electricity is passed through aqueous solution of sodium chloride, it decomposes to form NaOH and along with that chlorine and hydrogen gases are released. Now this process is often termed as chloralkali process. Why? Because during this process chlorine and alkali that is NaOH are produced or they are formed. Now when you look at this entire process of electrolysis you see that chlorine gas is given off at the anode whereas hydrogen gas is given off at the cathode and NaOH solution is also formed near the cathode. So that's how we get sodium hydroxide from NaCl. The next product is bleaching powder. Now where have you heard that we use bleaching powder to bleach uh, clothes like bleaching cotton or bleaching linen so that's where we normally use bleaching powder so how do you produce it how do we f how is bleaching powder formed so bleaching powder is formed from chlorine gas and from where do we get chlorine gas from NaCl so from NaCl we get chlorine gas and this chlorine gas is used for the manufacture of bleaching powder so when CaOH hole 2 that is dry slaked lime when this reacts with chlorine it forms bleaching powder that is CaOCl2 and water is released as part of the process. Now some of the uses of bleaching powder as I said bleaching cotton and text linen in textile industry it is used as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries and another very important use is it is used to disinfect drinking water to make it germ free that is like a very important use of bleaching powder. Moving ahead with the next product, baking soda, very commonly used in kitchens, especially when we uh, bake a cake or when we are trying to make some crispy pakoras, we use baking soda. So how do you make it from sodium chloride? So sodium chloride reacts with water and carbon dioxide and NH3 to form ammonium chloride and NaHCO3, which is baking soda. So sodium hydrogen carbonate is baking soda. Okay, why do we use it? Baking soda is used for baking a cake, of course. It's also used in fire extinguisher, antacids. So we normally take antacids when we are suffering from a burning sensation in the stomach due to indigestion or acidity. And that's when antacids help. So antacids contain the base that is baking soda and that helps us to feel better. Not only that, we also use baking soda uh, in the batter of idlis or cakes so that you know it, it becomes fluffier. Uh, for faster cooking as well, many a times uh, you would see that many ladies would use this trick. So if, if somebody wants to prepare chole instantly, I mean as in normally when you prepare chole you need to dip the pulses overnight so that uh, you know they boil quickly but if at all you haven't done that and if you add a pinch of baking soda to the chole you'll see that you know that it will cook very fast so that way baking soda helps in faster cooking as well from baking soda we get washing soda and we use washing soda for uh, many different purposes especially for cleaning activities so how do we get washing soda from baking soda so when baking soda is heated that is NaHCO3 on heating produces Na2CO3 plus CO2 plus H2O so Na2CO3 is nothing but washing soda and we use it for glass soap and paper industries uh, it is used for my manufacture of sodium compounds such as borax and as a cleaning agent for domestic purposes. Not only that, washing soda is also used to remove permanent hardness of water. So with this, we see that there are so many uh, useful products that are obtained from NaCl. So and, and in fact, that's one more reason why NaCl is like the most popular salt. And whenever we talk about salt, the, the, the compound that strikes our mind is NaCl. With this, we reach towards the end of this series on acids, bases and salts. Do let us know if you liked the video series and also if you like them, do share it with your friends. See you all very soon with a new video. Till then, bye-bye.